Hey what is up everyone welcome to future coders so today in this video we will be building this amazing home or hero section using html css and flexbox as you can see this is what we will be building we will have this amazing cool looking image as you can see the rocket is hovering this is an svg image and on the left side we will be having the content so uh, one more thing this build is going to be completely responsive so let me show you right click inspect let me just reduce the screen size as you can see this is how it will look in laptop screens so if i go ahead and reduce the screens as you can see the image starts shrinking all the spacing as you can see now when the screen size reduces further as you can see it will switch to uh it will, the image will switch to downside as you can see if i reduce it further so guys this is going to be completely responsive we will be using media queries most of uh, most of the work is done using flexbox so you will learn flexbox in this video so let's start building this so here i am at my visual studio code i have already created the boilerplate of the project so as you can see i have the index.html this is the boilerplate of our html i and, and i also have this css file which is already linked which is inside this folder as you can see it's blank and i also have the image that we are going to use for this project as you can see this is the svg don't worry i will uh, share the link of this svg in the description of this video so download it from there so let's start building this so inside our body uh, i will have a division with a class name of home bg uh, because i want a, a background color as you can see in the final version let me show you in the final version as you can see this is the background uh, color so i want to implement it separately so i will have a separate container for that and inside this we are going to have a section uh, with a class name of home so inside this home uh, we will divide the uh, this entire thing into two parts this is going to be the content section and this is going to be the image section so let's go ahead and implement that so here i will say a division with the class name of content inside this content as you can see i will have an h1 tag so the text of this is uh, is going to say So this is going to be the text and we also will have a paragraph. The paragraph is going to say, let me just get the text. All right. So this is the text which we will be showing. Uh, it says we are a team of talented designers making websites with bootstrap. Don't worry, we, we, are, we are not using any bootstrap. This is some random text which I got from the internet. So you can have whatever text you want. So here right after this, as you can see in the final version, uh, we have this button right so let me go ahead and add the button so i will use an anchor tag the class name of button so the link is not going to go anywhere so yeah this is going to say get started so that's it for the content section as you can see we have this content section let me go ahead and just open this up within the, in the live server if you don't get this option just go ahead go ahead to the extension marketplace search for live server this is a really cool uh, helpful extension which you can use to spin up a development server so let's right click and open with live server uh, this is going to open as you can see it will open up the website in the local host so this is the final version let's keep it that way so that we can refer it so now we now that we have the content section this one let's go ahead and add the image let me just close this all right uh okay this is the content section right after this as i said we will have the image section so inside this image i will have the img tag and the source is going to be images slash uh, home dot svg so that's the name of the svg let me just check whether it ha as you can see uh, this is a cool ho looking uh, hovering uh, svg image all right so all right that's it for the html part now it's time for the css so let's head inside our css file the first thing which i will be needing is uh i think i will uh, use a custom font so let's go ahead and uh, use a custom font i will go with i will search for google fonts so that's where we will get our fonts uh, i don't want about i will go ahead and fonts the font which i will be using is called jost let me just search for it all right this one it is all right 
now we'll just scroll down here you will get uh, all the this extra light 200 all right we'll add it it will just get added okay uh, if we are not done that we'll also need light 300 uh, regular 400 medium 500 i think i will also get the semi bold 600 all right that's it so uh, make sure you uh, click on this add import and copy only this which is inside the style tag so i will just copy this and paste it inside my css file and let me just close this so i don't need it all right all right let's start styling i will select everything so so i will set the font family to the font which we just imported just and a uh, fallback font of sans serif let me just reset the margin and padding all right done let's also set the box sizing to border box and we will not have any outline since we are using uh, uh i don't think we i don't think we are using a button right so we don't uh, it's okay to add this so we'll have no border just know that the i'm just resetting the styles all right and we will also have a text decoration none since we are using an anchor tag so all right now let's also add a text transform to uppercase i think i have already yeah these will become uppercase i think all right now now that we have done with it now let me just add some styling to the whole root html element i will decrease the font size to 62.5 percent uh, that's because i will be using a, a unit called as rem instead of pixels uh, i highly recommend you use rem or em the reason why i am reducing this should be 62.5 percent the reason uh, the reason why i am reducing the font size to 62.5 percent is that's because one rem equal to i think somewhere around uh, let me just search for that i think it's 12 pixels one rem is how many pixels all right it's uh, i think it says here it says 16 pixels right so uh, reducing it to 62.5 percent makes it uh, makes the one rem equal to point to 10 pixels so it will help me like uh measure the units or set the font sizes uh more effectively right i if, if i want to set to 10 pixels i will just set one rem right so all right so, so that's the one use case so you'll we'll also set the overflex overflex to overflow x to hidden all right now let me just check this out all right so this is how it's gonna look so let's start uh, with the the background so here i will select the home pg one as you can see where we have this home pg so i'm just selecting that i'm just gonna set the background color to this 3a 405 a this is an hex color so let me just check as you can see uh, the background color has been applied so the next thing which i'll be doing is the home section so for the home section there we have two uh, sections right the content and the image so let's go ahead and use flexbox so here i'll say display flex align items to the center and we will just flex wrap so that all the content wraps if it doesn't get enough space and i will also add gap of two rem in between those uh, in between those content as you can see the image has gone completely don't worry we will we need to set some things up so here since that is an spg maybe that's the reason so let me just uh, target the home and the content i will set the flex to 1 1 42 rem so that it takes 42 rems of the space and similarly i will also do the same thing for the image so that they both occupy the same space all right as you can see there we have it the this content area is occupying uh, for uh, what what did i say 42 rem and this image is using the 42 rem all right now let's go ahead and style these things so 
I think I also need to uh, style the section so that it has some padding uh, to the upside, uh, padding to the top and padding to the left and right. So let me just go ahead and do that. Uh, where will I do that? I will do that here. I will have a section. Of, uh, in case you are wondering, I have used the section here which has the class name of home. So section is going to have a padding of 3RM to the top and bottom and 2RM to the left and right and it's also going to have a max width of 1200 pixels and a margin 0 and at all so that it centers all the content let me just check as you can see this is how it's going to look now all right uh, now that we have done with it let me just uh, get started styling with the home content area let's start with h1 now which is inside the home content and inside the content we have the h1 so let's set the font size to 4.5 rem color i'm going to set it to white and line height i think i will set it to 1.3 and finally i will add some margin bottom the so uh, one rem so there we have it now uh, now that we are done with h1 let's target the paragraph which is also inside the content and paragraph so for this i will set the font size of 2 rem uh, color also i will set it as uh, white margin bottom 2 rem and i will reduce the opacity to 0.5 so that it looks some grayish all right let me just see all right as you can see there we have i don't i don't know why these are all capitalized here we have let me just check oh it has been set to uppercase i need to set it as capitalize all right okay then we have it now the only thing left now is i think we need to style this button so let's go ahead and do that so the for the button i will have where we have this we have named it as cl uh, class btn so let me just go ahead and here i will say i will paste this okay button for the button, I will set the background color to this bluish, which is going to be an hex value of 0496 FF and font size, oh, not the one, font size 2. Uh, let's set it to 2 rem. Padding, I will have 0.5 rem to the top and bottom, 1 rem to the left and right. Border radius of 1 rem and color to white that's it for the button so let me just check as you can see there we have the button so that's it for uh, the home section now i think we also need to add some media queries that's because whenever i reduce the screen size as you can see the font size should also reduce right so uh, in the mobile screens we don't want this big text so let me just add some media queries over here so here I will say, uh, let's add one media query, media at max width, uh, I think I will add it to 991 pixels and I will just reduce the HTML wrong brackets font size to 55% and similarly for the screen size of uh, i think i will target the 450 pixels so uh, that's the usual size of a phone so i will just make it as 45 percent as you can see there we have our text size being reduced so uh, if it is uh, the if the screen size is uh, say 991 pixels it will reduce the phone size to 55 percent and when we switch to mobile screens it will reduce the phone size to 45 percent so let me just check Alright, there we have the complete build guys, complete responsive build. So hope you guys enjoyed and hope you guys learned something from this video. If you haven't subscribed to our channel guys, please go ahead and make sure you first hit that like button and then subscribe and then press on the subscribe button. So that's it for this video and I will see you in the next one. Thank you for watching. Bye.